Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll take a look into th colon each time leap attribute. Well, in time leap, iteration or looping is achieved by using th colon each time leap attribute. Well, in Java, we use a for loop or for each loop to iterate over a list of elements. Well, in Java, we use for loop or for each loop to iterate over a list of elements, right? So similar to that, timely provides th colon each time leap attribute to iterate or loop over a list of elements. Alright, one interesting thing about this attribute is that it will accept and iterate over a different data type such as list, set, map, array. It means that we can use th colon each time leap attribute to iterate over different data types such as list of elements, set of elements, map of elements and array of elements. Alright, and consider the example over here, we have a list of users and this list of users basically comes from Spring MUC controller and here we are using th colon is timely attribute to iterate over a list of users and if you can notice here this user is basically a local variable and the scope of this user local variable is up to this tr element we cannot access this user local variable outside this tr element all right and here if you can notice here we are using variable expression to access user model attribute such as name email role and gender all right so just remember in time leap the iteration or looping is achieved by using th colon each time leap attribute and in this example we are iterating over a list of users using th colon each time leap attribute now let's take a look into th colon each time leap attribute status variable well time leap also enables a useful mechanism to keep track of the iteration process via status variable well status variable is pretty useful because we can keep track of each iteration process for example, consider the code snippet over here. Here we are, you know, iterating over a list of users using th colon each time leap attribute. And here is a syntax to define a status variable for th colon each time leap attribute. We just need to provide a comma followed by status variable name. All right, and status variable has a multiple properties. For example, count is one of the property. We can use count property to count the iteration process. All right, so just remember, we can use a status variable of this th colon each attribute to keep track of each iteration process. Well, this status variable provides a lot of properties. For example, if you can notice here, the status variable provides the following properties index, count, size, even or odd, post and last. Index property we can use to get the current iteration index starting with 0 and we can use count property to count the number of elements processed so far. We can use size property to get the total number of elements in the list and we can use even or odd uh, you know property to check if the current iteration index is even or odd next we can use post property to check if the current iteration is post one next we use last property to check if the current iteration is last one and these are the status variables provided properties i am going to demonstrate the usage of all these status variable properties with an example okay now Let's head over to the IntelliJ IDEA and let me demonstrate the usage of th colon each time leap attribute and status variable properties. So let me go to IntelliJ IDEA. Well, let's go ahead and let's first create a handler method that will return the time leap template. So go to user controller. Within user controller, we are going to write the handler method. So here let's type public and then let's give return type of the method as a string and let's give method name as users. And let's annotate this method with add get mapping annotation to handle http get request with the url users perfect next let's pass model as a parameter to this method all right within this method we will create a list of users and we will add them to the model because in time leap template we need to iterate over list of users hence let's create a list of users over here so let me create a user object first let's say admin equal to new user and let's give name as a admin and email id as a admin at the rate gmail.com and let's give a role as admin and then gender as a male perfect so let me maximize it now we have created one user similarly let's create another user user ramesh equal to new user and let's give name as a ramesh 
and email as ramesh at the rate gmail.com and next let's view role as user and then gender let's view a male perfect now we have created second user let's create one more user let's say meena equal to new user and let's view name as meena and then email id as meena at the rate gmail.com and next let's view role as a user and then gender female perfect now we have created three users next let's add them to the list so here let me create a list of type user and this is a user so equal to new array list perfect and let's use users dot add method to add a element so let's add admin and then users dot add ramesh and then users dot add meena perfect now we have added three users to the list next let's add this list to the model so let's have model dot add attribute method let's pass attribute name as users and attribute value as a list of users object perfect now we have added data to the model next we need to return the view for that here let me give a view name as users perfect next let's create a users thumblip template and then we will display this model data in a user thumblip template so let's go to templates folder and within a templates folder let's create a html file and let's name it as users Alright, let's give title something like iteration in timelip perfect next let's define the xml namespace for timelip at the beginning of this html page so go to html element and here let's type xml namespace colon th equal to http and then timelip www dot timelip.org perfect now we have defined the xml namespace for timelip next go to body within the body let's have a table and then within a table let's create a table heading and then let's have a table row and let's define table columns over here let's give table column as a name next second table column as a email and next third table column name as role and then the fourth table column name as gender now we have added columns to the table next let's design the table body so here let's type table body and within table body let's have a table row and within a table row element let's use th colon each timely attribute to iterate over a list of users and here is a syntax for th colon each timely attribute equal to and let's have a local variable name let's do user and then colon and let's use a variable expression in order to access the model you know object so here dollar within a curly braces just pass users attribute name well this users attribute name is coming from the spring mc controller if you go to user controller over here here we have written users handler method within that we have used a model dot add attribute to add a model data so we have used attribute name as users and attribute value as a list of users and in order to access this list of users we have to use this attribute name that is users so this users we are using over here okay perfect now we have used th colon each timely attribute to iterate over a list of users next let's print each user so within tr element let's use td element and next let's use th colon text timely attribute to evaluate the expression and print the result so here let's use a variable expression dollar within a curly braces user dot it has a attribute that is name well if you go to user model class it has attributes name email role gender so we are accessing these user model attributes using variable expression over here okay similarly let's print user model object email role and gender so here let's have a td element and then let's use th colon text family attribute and then dollar within a curly braces user dot email 
next let's print a role for that let's have a td element over here and then th colon text family attribute and then dollar within a curly braces user dot role next let's print a gender for that let's have a td element and then th colon text and then dollar within a curly braces user dot gender perfect now we have printed user name email role and gender okay now let's go and let's run the spring boot application and let's see how this th colon is family attribute works so here our spring boot application is up and running next let's go to browser in a new tab just type localhost colon 8080 slash users and hit enter and there we go we got a list of users in a table but the table don't have border that's why it is looking like this so let me add a border to the table so go to table element here and just have a border equal to one and let me rerun the spring boot application all right and let's go to browser and let's refresh our application and there we go you can able to see now the table looks good isn't it it means that we have successfully used th colon is family attribute to iterate over a list of users and this is how we use th colon each attribute okay so this the syntax is user so local variable colon and then list of users all right so in java we basically use for each loop to iterate over a list of elements so similar to that family provides th colon each attribute to iterate over a list of elements and the syntax looks same isn't it well in next lecture i am going to demonstrate the usage of status variable of this th colon each family attribute all right great i will see you in a next lecture